Welcome back to Whistleblower Outlast, or the other way around. We are kicking off this episode from a locker. And, oh, that was my camera. In the last episode, we were being chased around by the cannibal with the saw, and uh, we just entered a new zone, so. You hear that? Someone just kicked the can. So we have someone stalking us. Okay, so let's just check out where the lighted area. That guy is still following me. Is that steam or is that the sound of a saw? Batteries, here. Okay. We have someone who really wants to dismember me and then eat my body parts. No, while I'm alive, I will not allow it. So I don't know what other new mechanics that they have in store for us. This is just an empty room. Okay, well that was a locked door. Oh, oh my gosh. Sir! <gasps> I told you it would be open. I can't Keep moving, Graham! We're almost out! There's people trying to run away. Semi-sane people? So we're seeing a lot of cross symbols right now. What does that say? Library? Oh gosh, the library. We know a lot of people were dismembered. Which makes me wonder if this was the work of the- <gasps> No! the door! Run! How'd I go all the way back here? Well, the music stopped. That must mean that we lost him. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what that means. Everything's fine. Wait a minute. This way. Oh, the graphics are really good. I don't think I've actually mentioned this on camera. With the first game. But they did a really good job. I'm scared. I'm scared. He was- Where? <sighs> My heart is pounding. Do you guys think he's in the room on the left? Or the right? Probably in the right, because that's where we need to go. Okay. I'm gonna walk quietly. Maybe if I crouch and sneak. Do you think that? Do you think that makes us stealthier? from urology. I think I have to go this way. Damn it, that's the way it came from. I'm so dumb. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. We're gonna follow the crowd.
Okay, I think he's behind me. Jeez. rooms like these. Follow the blood. It's down here. Come on, just pick that up. Not difficult. There's an elevator here. I probably have to come back to later. Oh. Whoops. This is disorienting. Sorry. Find the main valve and shut off the gas to access the airlock. Look up, look up. Look around. A lot more jump scares in this one. Well, what do you mean you can't go through? Yes, you can. Shut off the gas, so I need to find a valve. Excerpt from 1957 and comment on IG report operations of TSD, influencing human beha behavior. The potential use of psychochemicals in political action operations is well recognized, although it has not been explored as thoroughly as might as, be, as might be expected. Chemical Division includes it as an objective of its program to be prepared to support or make such operations possible. Non-chemical methods of accomplishing political action operations are also included in the program. Note. Present the above M. Cultra excerpt to Technical Services Division for budgeting and authorization of continued research into research of Dr. Rudolf Warnicke and Project Wallrider, autopsy of reco recovered test subjects, shows chemical content of bodies, metallic tumors, evidence of subdermal combustion that indicates a heavy psychological psychochemical dosage. So this is developed for political advantages, manipulation. Oh god, that fucker's behind me. Seven. Why is E two three seven blinking? Did I write a note earlier? I'm sorry. Very ver varying effects. Lisa or whoever finds this know that Murkoff is making monsters. I'd never seen patients after they'd gone through that German's so-called therapy. The engine, so much worse than I could have imagined. They may still be human. But something's been ripped out of them, and too many other things pushed back in. They were not all murderers. They were sick. But they weren't killers. Murkoff made them monsters. Dr. Rosette said the engine had varying effects. The variant outcomes. Too erratic for any sort of prediction. I took it as idle cafeteria small talk, Raoul's endless chatter. I should have listened, so that's where... The term variants come from in the original game they called all of these patient monsters whatever they call them variants i guess it refers to how it has different effects on different people okay i'm using a lot more batteries in this game than i did in the last game i think 
What in the world? Oh, it's an actual door. I can open it. Okay. There's a red light blinking, but there's a obstacle there. So they want us to go back there. We gotta see what else is in these other rooms. These look like the bedrooms that, um... Father Martin had, was in in the original game. What? Oh. What is this? An escape route? So for some reason we have to go back there. Is he smart enough to come up the vents? Okay. I don't know. We're just gonna run, okay? This door. Go, oh, shit, go up. He doesn't ever come in. Please don't fall down. I knew it. I'm supposed to go back up. This guy is really fast on my tail. That's nothing. Okay. What just happened? <laughs> okay, that was really weird. I mean, I don't even know what happened. Left mouse, oh, it's a locker. Okay. Oh, sorry. Where? You gotta get me killed. Fuck off. Oh. Well, I thought the gas valve would be here. It's just not in here. Gas room. behind me. No! Oh, fuck, I'm stuck. Look. Oh, shit. Walk quietly.
Okay guys, we're gonna go straight, I think. Run for it. Run. Gas run. Oh my gosh, I just locked myself inside. Holy shit! <gasps> Where, where's the controls, dude? Shut the door! It's not one of these. Is this a trap? Oh my gosh. That's, that's great. Hide. He's over there. Quick, have a quick look. I can smell you. Gas room. It says it's here. Oh, do I go up? Oh. That's good. I'm up. He's down there. episode here it is so intense this game is so incredibly stressful okay so i think we have to go back to the elevator but i'm gonna cut this episode here so um thanks for watching <gasps> i'll see you in the next episode bye